We recommend using a precision scale for this because the amounts you'll be using are really tiny. We've linked this $10 scale as well as all the other materials we've used below. It's also really important to be precise with your amounts. First, make a 0.5% sodium alginate solution in the cup by adding 0.5 grams of sodium alginate, 100 grams of water, and food coloring if you want. Then mix it with an immersion blender or a regular blender. If you do a regular blender, you'll probably need to double the amount to have enough. It can be tricky getting exactly 0.5 grams because it's so small, so we actually found the easiest way to do this was put the bag on the scale, zero it, and then measure how much you're taking out. In a separate bowl, create a 2% calcium chloride solution by adding 2 grams of calcium chloride to 100 grams of water. Give it a real good whisk until all the calcium chloride has dissolved. Then take a dropper of the sodium alginate solution and drop it into the calcium chloride solution. After 15 seconds, remove the droplets and put them in water to give them a rinse. And that's it. That's just the most basic way to do this. From here, you can play around with different sizes by using molds or different sized spoons. Keep in mind that a larger sphere will take a longer time to sit in the calcium chloride bath to gel, but that's also something you can play around with. See how the time in the calcium chloride bath affects the outer gel-like coating and how thick it is. You can also try out different flavors by using different liquids. Be sure to check both the calcium content of the liquid as well as the pH. A high calcium content will interfere with the reaction and you'll have to do reverse purification. We won't be covering that in this video. If the pH is too low and acidic, it won't work very well. It needs to be closer to neutral, which is 7. A lot of fruit juices are acidic, so that's something you have to look out for. But there is a solution. You can add sodium citrate. Here's an example. We had mango juice, which originally had a pH of about 4, and by adding the sodium citrate, it had a pH of 5. Then we just followed the rest of the directions as normal. We also had much better results if we let the mixture sit in the fridge for at least 2 hours or overnight after we mixed it. The other method you can try out is frozen spherification, taking the liquid, putting it into a mold, and freezing it. After it freezes, place the frozen sphere in a hot calcium chloride bath, so just heat the calcium chloride bath in the microwave or on the stovetop. The sphere will not only gel, but also defrost in the hot calcium chloride bath. You'll have to play a little bit with the exact temperature and time of the calcium chloride bath to make sure that that core is fully defrosted. Keep in mind with experimentation, you might have some failed trials and need to tinker and troubleshoot, but that's the beauty of science. We encourage you to share your results, both what worked, what didn't, so we can learn from each other.